Welcome back to the show. Uh, on this episode, we're going to be talking about Kisses Monster. <laughs> so gross. Um, Kisses Monster. Why do I keep saying Kisses Monster? I did that in the last one on freaking Sonic Boom as well. Probably because uh, I'm recording these back to back, but who cares? Yeah, if you didn't watch the last video, I recommend you don't. I recommend you don't watch this one either. Why? Because why am I doing this at all? Because what do I got to do that's any better than this? Actually, I got a lot of stuff to do that's better than this. But uh, here I am. And here we are. And we are one. Kisses Monster. <laughs> I did it again. Uh, this one, of course, came out a couple years after Sonic Boom, and a little less of a excitement. I, I well, it kind of happened so quick that I don't know if the, I had personally if I had any like built up excitement for it. Um, I said in the last video of Sonic Boom that like I was surprised by it, but I think I actually remember waiting around for it to come out. And it finally coming out, and I'm getting excited. This one kind of sort of just happened. And uh, I don't remember, man. 2012, I think, is whenever it came out. Yeah. What was I doing in 2012? I don't remember. That's, that's been a long time ago, man. But anyway, I remember it coming out. Uh, and having a little bit of excitement, I guess. I say I remember, but I don't remember because I just said I don't remember. But then I said I do remember. I don't know what's going on, man. I don't know what's going on. Anyway, cool. I guess if they're going to end on this being their last studio album, I'm sorry. But uh, Kisses Monster, <laughs> damn it. Um, the only, the, am I the only one? I don't know. Like That's the Monster Energy Drink logo, right? Am I wrong about that? Like... It's very similar to it if it's not exactly it. I've got some in the kitchen. I should check that out. But, like, from the moment I ever first seen that, it's like, did they sponsor that? Or did they, like, buy, like, the font for it or something? Like, I look, I looked through the book, like, dozens of times. I was like, it's got to be in here. Were they, like, sponsored or something? Like, whatever. But never can find anything. And it's probably just me. And it's probably not even anything like the energy drink logo but there you go so pretty cool cover though i like this cover a lot better than the sonic boom cover it's cool seeing them all hanging out gene and paul is doing their thing tommy and eric i'm not going to joke around with the ace and peter thing i guess on this if you even call that a joke what i did in the last one that's just a joke in my head uh <laughs> Uh, fun fact, this cover was completely photoshopped. In fact, these four people have never met each other in their entire lives. So, very good artwork there. And uh, let's take a look on the inside. I'm going to get deleted for just complete false information, I think. Is that a thing on YouTube? I don't know. It doesn't really matter. What's the big loss? I'm going to lose a bunch of videos of me wasting time talking about the cds i own oh no please don't do it mr youtube i'm so sorry um no filler no ballads just full throttle rock in roll featuring the rock radio hit hell or hallelujah a full-on oral assault who, who did it where did they play that on the radio? Like, seriously, like, I know obviously they had to play it somewhere, but I definitely didn't hear it here where I live, so that's a bummer. Cause Hell, and, Hell or Hell is a pretty good song. I, I dig that one. That was all right. Now, this one, I got to tell you, opposed to Sonic Boom, I, I only know a handful off this album, and I've listened to it a good bunch of times, but just by, like, looking at the titles or the lyrics, I don't think I could pick out a hand but a, a couple of them like hell or hallelujah is good i remember it being good but i gotta tell you like looking at it right now yeah i, I remember the chorus but i couldn't tell you how it starts like there's no to me like no classic like 
sound to these songs. They're good songs. They're just not, I don't know. Maybe it's just because I didn't listen to it as much as I have every other Kiss album ever. Wall of Sound, I don't know. Uh, Freak, I do like Freak. Um, that is an actual pretty good song. I like the lyrics and everything. That does fit. It took me back to to middle school. Uh, there's Paul looking pretty cool. Pretty rocking. What is that necklace he has on there? Or is that just bunches of the string on his shirt i'm trying to zoom in stop paper <laughs> it's just a bunch of crap i thought it was like some big necklace or something like he was like the king of the aztecs or something like that he is not he is paul stanley of kiss back to the stone age um uh, kind of i dig that one i think that's all right there's Gene going going to work with his with his base axe, axe over his shoulder like a like a like he's got a bag on a stick going go with his peanut butter and jelly sandwich going to work for the day. Shout mercy, I don't know that one all that well. Long way down. I think I I think that one's alright. If it's the same one I'm thinking of, probably not. Who cares? Whoops. I hate doing this because I hate messing up my books and stuff by like totally missing turning the page. But and sticking my fingers all over the artwork because I'm all weird about acidic properties getting everywhere, but I guess it really doesn't matter, does it? Hey, there's a necklace. There's two necklaces. Paul does have necklaces. Tommy has a necklace. Eric has a necklace. Does Gene have a necklace? Only Gene knows. He's probably trying to steal Eric's right there. That's probably what he's doing. He's like, give me that necklace, Eric Singer of Kiss. Drummer of Kiss. Catman of Kiss. Of present time, Kiss. Gene just wants, Gene just wants Eric's necklace and a brownie. Uh, <laughs> sounds like I've had a brownie myself. Uh, eat your heart out pretty good. I probably, I don't know. And what is this? The devil is me. That was all right, I guess. Devil wants a cookie. Here's Tommy looking all space AC and stuff. Was that a guitar? That's Tommy's top of Tommy's guitar with the pyrotechnics. There's out of this world. Uh, that one I do like. That's the Tommy song I like. I dig it. It's very space AC if you're going to play the character. At least it's a decent song. I heard somebody, I think, say it was like a very, very poor ripoff of Shock Me. But whatever, man. All for the love of rock and roll. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that one. Okay, I like that one a lot better than All for the Glory of Eric's songs. That one sounds like really classic, like, Kiss to me. It sounds very classic Peter Chris Kiss Peter Chris Kiss from like like that song probably could have maybe fit somewhere on like rock and roll over or no 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 yeah probably rock and roll over if if it was like Peter Chris but it's Eric Singer it's not Peter Chris that's some look at that face look at that face that that is a cat. That is a cat man. All right, take me down below. Mm, I don't remember it. Last chance. I don't remember it. And I know there was like some songs off of like Sonic Boom. I think that was like iTunes like exclusive or something. One or two. I don't think I've ever heard them songs yet or song. However many it is. Yeah, man, I'm slacking. Slacking. Yeah, see, I would read this page over and over, even though there's only, like, a handful of, like, words on it. Looking for logo for album sponsored by Monster. Sponsored by Monster. That's, that's a cool song title. Or album sponsored by Monster. Sponsored by Monster. 
Uh, there we go. That's about it, man. There's nothing else to say about this. It's Kiss's last studio album. That's it's cool. At least it has a cool cover. But uh, man, I hope Paul like 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 reconsiders and like just throw one more thing out with something that doesn't end on this with like not an energy drink logo and and not a I don't know, make it a trilogy. Just end the damn thing with a trilogy. Like it's been 10 year 10, 11 years now. It's time for one final album. Holy shit, dude. It's been that long in between right? Psycho Circus is 98 to Sonic Boom. That was what a decade. And it's already been a decade since this came out. For me, between Psycho Circus and Sonic Boom, it felt like a century. It still feels like it should be closer to 2012 than a decade away. <sighs> Kisses Monster. Thanks for watching. Thanks. I should give out prizes for that video. That sucked.